Yo, what's good YouTube? We back with another reaction video. And today I'm doing NBA Legends and Players Explain Why Larry Bird Would Destroy Today's NBA, man. Not really feel like he would. Because <laughs> Larry Bird is a fucking monster, man. But anyway, I want to say appreciate all the love and support, y'all. And let's get this thing going, man. I see y'all loving Larry Bird, so whatever videos y'all got, I'm going to definitely keep doing, man. But yeah, let's get into this, man. Just like, subscribe, share, comment, do all that good stuff, man. Definitely appreciate all of y'all, man. But let's get it. And I'm going to give a shout out to the person that actually gave me this video. I forget his name. But I, I'll figure it out anyway. But shout out to you, bro. I'm sorry I forget your name, but Imagine let's get into this, Larry man. Imagine a Bird in today's NBA. This is the most intriguing player for this type of series because he will fit so well in today's era. He is a complete Ooh, package of what you want in today's one. NBA. Larry Bird had Ooh, many ways to impact one. the game, and his IQ was remarkable. You could argue he had the highest basketball IQ in NBA history. The most underrated Ooh, okay. part of Larry Bird's game for me was his defense. He led the league in defensive win shares four times and finished second twice. Only George Mikan, Bill Russell, and Tim Duncan have more seasons than him as league leaders, and only Hakeem Olajuwon is tied with him. Despite his reputation as more of an offensive player, this actually puts him in the company of some of the greatest defenders in NBA history. He also mm. made three all-defensive teams. Sure, he wasn't a lockdown defender like Dennis Rodman in one-on-one -on -one situations, but he could hold his own and was great at reading passing lanes for steals, so he wasn't a liability, which was one of the biggest myths. And to prove that Larry Bird would dominate in today's NBA, there are players like Nikola Jokic and Luka Doncic who are thriving in the league. Both players possess some of Larry Bird's qualities. Jokic's freakish passing abilities, <laughs> excellent yeah, off-ball play, play, and yeah, Luka's tough <laughs> shot making and so competitive quick, mentality. Yeah, quick, but neither yeah, are a better crazy. shooter or defender than Larry. Mm, that is why in today's crazy. league it's difficult to find a player to compare Larry Bird to because he is a composite of many players. The only thing you have to worry about with a prime Larry Bird in today's NBA is whether he'll be ejected after trash talking every every player guarding because he would destroy <laughs> players mentally too. Like the guy was telling players what he would do before he even had the ball in his hands. So I'm going to show you NBA legends and players sharing stories of how dominant and skilled Larry Bird was. And, and after the, oh this video, please tell God. me how many points you think a peak Larry Bird will average in today's league. Enjoy the video, man. Prior to, prior to that NCAA tournament, still with the most watched Send NCAA finals shot. game in, in, in NCAA history. How much did you know about Larry Bird prior to that game? Well, Shannon, um, the summer before, they had the WIT tournament. Okay. And they brought all the best college players together. Okay. To play against the world. Okay. And, man, <clears throat> I see this guy, you know, blonde hair, you know. <laughs> I said, oh, let me see if he can play. Okay. Man, I'm sitting there watching him shoot, Shannon. He must have made 30 in a row all net. So I he said, was Steph Curry before Steph yeah, Wade. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course and I'm he sitting was. up saying, Whoa, mm. <laughs> this dude can play. Okay. So you know, brothers, we always say, okay, can the white dude really play? Correct. You know? right. so, so then I said, oh, man, he a bad boy. Right. And then he got in the game. Jack Gibbons was player of the year that year. Right. He tore him up. From Jack Gibbs from Kentucky. Kentucky. Because they won the national championship That's in 78. Right. That same time. Yeah, yeah, okay. Man, Larry Bird is the goon. <laughs> He's a beast, like I say. Oh, I'm enjoying this a beast. Home, oh, he for real. He for real. This right. new Larry Bird? Right. Oh, he got it. He right. can play. He's dominating Jack right. Gibbons. I don't know. I think he might average 30. I mean, here's the thing. Nobody could ever rush Larry Bird. I know guys are way more athletic now, but his ability to shoot the ball, depending upon the team he's on, like he can get anywhere he wants to be and shoot over and the he could up 40. And he was one of the most crafty players the game has ever seen. So I think his game translates to any time period. Uh, Larry Bird talked a lot of shit. Bird used to tell me, look here, man. I'm going to go shoot this motherfucker jumper in your face right there in that corner. And it's gonna be your Christmas present. I'm gonna wrap it up and bust your head open. All that shit. He was the coldest dude I ever seen with that shit, man. Everybody <laughs> talking about these great greats. They don't be always mentioning him. He was the shit. Yeah. The shit, man. He'll give it to you any way he wanted to. Any way he wanted to. Larry Bird was cold. Cold dude, man. Real That's cold. Mean. It's every night show what you got. I don't know if there was if I could ever tell you a memory. I'll just tell you that Larry was a phenomenal basketball player. The guy had unbelievable physical and mental toughness. We set him apart. I mean, that, that, that guy uh, just would play through pain. Bonus hurt. Bonus down, and he 
is hurt. Mm. And here comes Larry Bowen. Yeah, man, you gotta have that grit. You gotta have that fight. Don't come at me, y'all, but there's some people in this world that don't. A lot of people are lazy, man. Nothing bothers them. I had that grind and that grit, man. Great hands, great vision, great feel for the game. And just, you know, could go out every single night and just play yeah, at work a hard, unbelievably bro. high level. Didn't have to shoot the ball really well to have a good game because he did so many different things. I said, the dude just knew how to play. Yes. Right? And the thing that I loved about him. Is that he was trying to take the easy way out too much. <laughs> yeah, and I wish you got a chance to play against him, Robert Glass. I swear to God, you'd have loved playing against him because the dude would just tell you where he's going, shoot it in your face, don't shoot to you. Ain't going to work at the same time. Tired as hell. Just grinding, man. You got to hit that grit. He was just one of those guys that, you know, he had, he just had it. You know what I mean? He had it. And I saw it in college and obviously saw it a whole lot closer. When we get a chance to play against the Celtics, he was the biggest trash talker back in the day. But he would back it up. The first guy there, he was the last guy to leave. He wore that body out with the jumpers and the running and the movement. And the, you want it, you got to work for it, man. Don't look for the, the easy way out, y'all. The discipline and the sacrifice. Trust he me. He had it all. He wanted the light on him. He wanted the focus. And he wanted yeah, that ball. Yeah. And if it ever got to the point where Casey Jones, a coach who we just loved and would do anything for, if Casey would ever call somebody else's play, Larry would just say, no, 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 I'm shooting this ball. And he would. Two mm -hmm. seconds on the shot clock. Bird wants a three out of it. He gets it. Now, growing up in Boston, people all used to always Patrick talk Ewing. about that he can't jump, he can't do this, he can't do that. And you know, a lot of my friends was like that. You know, I prove people wrong. So I, you know, I got to the league. I called she all my do. friends back up. I said, you know, all that trash that you were talking, you need to squash all that. This, this man is great. He can, he can, whatever you were saying for a man who can't jump, he he'll demo, he can demo, he's, he's demolishing everybody. So your your guys are saying, how can you let this guy? Oh, okay. <laughs> he, he, he's doing it on everybody. He's doing it on everybody. He's doing it on the best defensive players in the league. I have to give the edge to Bird. I mean, he can get his own shot off. He can get his teammate. Basically, yeah. what a match Bird he was able to do, plus be an opposite player. The things I've seen, yeah, I'm sorry. Assets. I'll give it to Bird. An incredible asset. They were pretty much the same I will give size. it to Bird. Yeah. They were both slow. They were both, you know. I'm just trying to be no. I'm honestly yeah, giving yeah, Bird. Yeah. But Bird, that outside. No, you say Bird or Jordan, though. They were both high IQ guys. That's a hard one for me. I gotta give the edge to Bird. To to play against the dream team. Yeah, I don't know if this is really compared to Jordan. This was the legendary game where the college guys, guys came mm. in and Chuck Daly mm. let y'all tear their ass up, and as soon as y'all started getting back, he ended it, right? So yeah, so funny. So when we got an invitation, it was eight of us. It was myself. Bobby Hurley, Allen Houston, uh, Chris Webber, Rodney Rogers, Eric Montrose. Shout out Eddie Rodney Martin. Rogers, man. Shout yeah. out to OG. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and Grant Hill was on that show. I look at some of these old so people. So we get to La Jolla, too. San Diego, and we check into the Marriott. We go up to our floor, and we're walking in the corridor, and we see this tall white guy coming down the hall. And I'm like, damn, that looked like Larry Bird. So Larry Bird coming down the hallway, me and Chris Webber, and Larry Bird, you don't realize how big Larry Bird is. You could tell, you yeah. Oh, you can see, yeah, I could tell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Larry you could Bird, tell. legit 6'10". Nah, you real talk. When I you first saw him, him, when he was coaching the place, I was like, damn. So he, he walked by us and he says, y'all those college guys? And we was like, yeah, 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 we the college guys. And he looked at us and he said, get some fucking rest. It's going to be a long week and walked off. And we was like, what the hell? Larry. <laughs> what y'all got us into? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like, okay. You know, you like, know you confident right, stuff, man. I wanted to Trust say me. what's up, and he just came <laughs> yeah, yeah. like this, like that. Larry broke into the league, broke into the year. Yeah, had a strong uh, first year. So I knew that I was teaming up with someone that was franchise changing type talent. He, you know, this guy, I think he was born to pay, play basketball. Seeing him come in. And, and making the adjustment early, taking a team that had won 20 games the year before. The more and more I watch these videos, I see why y'all be like, Larry Bird, do Larry Bird. Yeah, 60, yeah man, there's a lot of people saying, you know, everybody, State. yeah. And the first time we really but got I see a chance it, to see him play on television, 
uh, Indiana State played Bradley. And then you yeah, know, send me more videos too, yo. They played the Paul. Ain't that I missed Mark anything? Aguirre, I'm gonna keep Jerry looking, Cummings, searching Teddy deep in more Larry Bird stuff. And Larry Bird just, you know, he does this thing, and then of course they went on and they they played Magic at Michigan State. But Bird was a, you know, again, you know, one of the the greatest shooters, champions, uh, competitors to ever play in our game. You now join. Oh, see how many chips you Larry Bird has. The only players in the 40-year history of the NBA to win the league's MVP award three years in a row. Yeah, Rob, I wish you would have played against him, man. Larry Bird was the biggest shit talker in the league back in the day. <laughs> He would tell you exactly where he was going, what he was going to do. And he did that to us in the finals. He was like, guys, don't worry about it. I'm going to go right over here to the corner. I'm going to catch the ball. I'm going to shoot it. And ain't shit y'all can do about it. I mean, just like, and he did exactly that. You know, so I wish you would have got a chance to play against him. You know, because I always think about that moment. I don't know how true this is, but you remember the time when he was playing Atlanta and he told the guy, he says, I'm a bank of three on you. And the guy's just bullshit. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on an out of bound play. Throughout the game, it was yep. one way, throughout the yep. game, he never got to say, he said, you know what? He goes back in the game. I think he had like 50 points that yeah, game or something. Up, Kevin, and, I noticed too, because Kevin McHale yeah. ended up having the most points ever scored by uh, a Boston Celtic, mm -hmm. right? And Larry told him he should have got 60 because he broke it against Atlanta like yeah. two or three days later. <laughs> yeah, and it was in mm. the bench. Atlanta bench got in trouble because they out here rooting for Black. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you can see it. You can see the bench. Yeah. Every shot he made, yeah. they're going crazy. They're like, yeah, you know, yeah, man, 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 man. like yeah. See, that's yeah. what you want. Because when someone's telling you what they can do when and you can't fond. stop it, you know they're a bad <laughs> they're man. bad so, man. Yeah. But I look at guys in this era now and you say, okay, you look at Bird and says, "Well, I could have stopped him because you know he, he's slow." It's sort of like Luca now. Luca, yes. you watch Luca. Luca yes. is so freaking slow, and you like, yeah, why can't Luca, they stop yeah. that? Right. I'm like, yeah. yes. but when they be crafty and you know how to yeah. play, that's all you. That's that's all you need. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think agree Bird with that. is fast compared to Luca. <laughs> <laughs> I see Luca; he be going slow as hell, and he'll get by you. But yo, Larry probably looked like fucking sprinter compared to, <laughs> compared to the way Luca plays. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. I think it was 80, 86, 87. So I, we were playing Boston Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals. So they gave me the task of guarding Larry Bird. <laughs> so it's guarding Larry Bird. I'm like this 25 year old rookie in the league. They said, Dennis, you have to guard him. And I'm like, and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Guard him. So I, that was my whole job to guard the toughest guy on the team, on, on the other teams. So, you know. So I'm guarding him, and every time I turn my head, he's over there in the three-point line. He said, I'm over here, Rook. I'm like, <laughs> you know, I got to go out there run out there like a dumb, dumb ass. Let's go out there and try to contest him. He hit the three. I'm like, okay, da da da, -da. I remember the Portland game. It was, I think it was Super Bowl Sunday. We were playing the Portland Trailblazers. He had like 52 points or something like that. We were down three. He's a remarkable, crazy three-point shot. He was leaning. And, he, and I was like, there's no way he's going to hit the shot. DJ again to make the inbound pass. The double team in Bird. Larry, fake, fall away. Hash money. <laughs> All right. He's leaning, falling. He's three point. I'm like, this guy's amazing. One thing I do remember now, this is practice, is I'm making a backdoor cut, and Larry actually spun the ball. Like, I had never dreamed of spinning the ball. He back spun the ball. Bounced out in front of me. I about pulled the hamstring because I thought the damn ball was going out of bounds. It popped back up and it hit me in my hands. He just said, you get open, I'll hit you. And I went like, ooh, okay then. I was yeah, like, right? and that I do remember. Because yeah, I remember passes thinking, was crazy. I'm going to try that spin pass. I tried it once and said, I'm not doing that ever again. Like, I threw it out of bounds. Off of the ball. Back to Larry Bird. To hey. Man. In the league at that time, do you have a feel for who players felt was the, the better player between those two? To be honest with you, the black players gravitated to Magic and the white yeah. players gravitated to Bird. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. And the people with sense could see the difference. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it wasn't about color or anything else. Yeah, it was, hey, yeah, that's what I'm guy, saying. It don't ball. matter, bro. Yeah. And that's why we used you to play, You play, you play. Like, you can ball, you can ball. Hmm. Maybe he's not white. <laughs> you know, in a, in a little bit of a way. But that was those times. He's though, got man. a lot of swag. <laughs> yeah. Before the word was really high. Like, if Played you can play, garden. you can play. It don't matter I what color. I checked the game, and Larry Bird was just standing you know, there, and I walked right up bullshit. to him and was like, 
how you doing, Mr. Bird? I'm, 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 you know, and then he just had his hands on his hip and he doesn't even look at me the whole time. No. He looks I'm at leaving. Paul Westfall because they were teammates together and he go, Paul, I know y'all ain't got this fucking rookie duck in me right now. You got to be fucking, kidding. and I got my hand out. I'm, my hand is still out. So I'm just like, oh, well, uh, somebody come guard 33 because I'm, I think I'm a guard. So, <laughs> Like for him to talk trash and never even icon or talk to me, I, I like was that like, shirt. Ooh, I this dude that. is dangerous. Uh, Magic was cool shirt. when I met him. Yeah. I got on the court in a form and got went right suit. up I'll to him. Get about the game. Hi, Magic. How you doing? Say, hey, what's up, baby? LA, you home? What's <laughs> yeah. So the next morning, we get up and we go to um, practice, and Roy Williams is our coach. But we only got eight. So we like, well, how are we practicing? And what are we practicing for? So we spent, I want to say, an hour doing the three-man weave. And I'm like, what's going on here? Then they bus us to another location where the Dream Team is practicing. And these about 400 people standing outside uh, waiting for the Dream Team to come out. They take us up to a top floor, and the Dream Team is practicing. They're finishing up their practice. And then they say, all right, get loose and stretch out. They're like, okay, we playing? They're like, yeah, yeah, we're going to play next. So we get out the gates. Like the first 15 minutes, we kicking their ass. <laughs> we but we running them all out. Bobby Hurley in the lane, killing John Stockton. So they stop the game and turn off the score. I think we were up like 72, 66 or something, 64 or something like that. We we um, lit they ass up, and then some happened. We're sitting there, and we get back to the hotel. Rodney Rogers says something to it's a group of them. It's Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, and everybody's shooting the shit. And Rodney Rogers said, "Hey, Larry, you ain't hit a jumper since '84." Magic heard that shit, and we ain't think nothing of it. The next day, we came in. And i never seen this, and this one I was like, this is a different breed. Magic Johnson fed Larry Bird the ball probably about eight times in a row down court. Larry Bird got the ball on Rodney Rogers, and every time he was about to make a move, he told him what he was going to do. One dribble, pull up, going left, off glass. Fuck it. <laughs> one dribble, going right, spin, shot bucket he scored nine times or eight times in a <laughs> row left Damn. the court to go lay down because he couldn't sit on a bench he had to lay down because of the back, back. and said young fella look like 84 huh <laughs> <laughs> last time he made <laughs> so, so i'm sitting there and i'm like wow i said so that's 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 they kicked our ass from the rest of the weeds. Larry and those guys, Man. something I've watched my whole life. I, I gotta find him mic'd up. I just wanna hear his trash talk. What's up, Larry? He goes, he made it. Yeah, man, he goes, oh. Y'all not double teaming? I said, nah, just me on you. He goes, for real? I go, yeah. Go, yo, 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 mouse in the house, mouse in the house. And he runs down to the post and posts me up. And boom, boom, that's all he said. It's going to be a long night, Sal. <laughs> <laughs> and Larry with a long jump shot. We, we up one. Mm, we come out crazy. of the huddle. And and Bird looks at me, and, and Kent Benson is guarding Bird. And Bird looks at me, and he goes, he's got no shot. And he says it right to, to, to Benson as he was standing there, right? And sure enough, he gets it in on the left side of the court, takes it down to the baseline. All right, here's Dennis, gets it in the bird. Larry, a runner. Got it! Ball game's over, Boston wins. Back to down, <laughs> they win by one. He walks off, he goes, I told you, you can't put him on me. He said, you better get somebody else who can guard. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and tell me how many points you think a prime Larry Bird will average in today's NBA. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, and show love to the YG gang, and I'm out. Hey.
anyway, y'all, we out of this joint, man. That shit was wild, bro. Shout out to you who sent this to me, man. I forget your name. I'm sorry. I should have looked at your name before I record it. But anyway, I'm going to shout you out in the description, bro. Everybody go follow him. It's for him giving me this video. And I appreciate all love and support to y'all. But yeah, I'm out of this joint. On to the next video. Larry Bird is crazy. I'm definitely going to keep looking for some more Larry Bird. But I love y'all, man. I'm out this joint. Peace.